I see we got WAC 100 and Adam 22. WAC really going in on Big U. I haven't heard it yet, but I'm going to listen in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? We're going to follow up with this, see what this is about. Let's get right into it. Yeah, did you tune in to the Black Sam interview that he did with Big Boy yeah, impeccable. that rocked and shocked Los Angeles? Well, not only, let me tell you what was so significant about that. Because it had already <laughs> been interviews of certain events and certain things mentioned. Okay. And what Black Sam did is what, you right, he talked about certain things without talking about certain people. Right. But the world, world is like, hold on. Wait, they did the Khaled thing and somebody wasn't wasn't happy about it. Oh shit. We remember Whack and Loose Cannon talking about what Khaled got rolled down on and what it was about and all this shit, right? He basically opened the door for everybody to take shit that you and Loose had said much more seriously. Bro, listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Right? Now, I put a post up. Follow me at underscore the one zero zero show. That's where I've been um, on Instagram until I get my page back. Good page. But but nevertheless, <clears throat> underscore the honey show. Nevertheless, I can't stop drinking this. Did shit. you did you see me? Did you see what I put up? What? You didn't see it? I mean, I'm not seeing it. Ah, you fing asshole. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. Here we go. So it's gonna be a little uh, clip of the interview with uh, Big U talking about the deal he had with Nipsey Hussle when it started, when it ended, and the type of deal that they had, you know what I'm saying? We don't run into that. I know I said I didn't see it, but I seen it for about like four minutes and I'm like, let me just start it from here because it sounds like the whole clip is gonna be interesting to listen to. But anyway, let me get into it. I do with it because I wouldn't have benefited from Nipsey. I didn't have no business with Nipsey. Nipsey ain't signed to me. One signed to me. He's next. Signed to a 10 year production contract, which started in 2009, which will end 2019. Crazy. Hello. But uh, I ain't tripping off of that because, you know, it, it is what it is. But I do have that. You know what I mean? So, Wait, so, you, so your your deal with Nipsey was 10 years? It was 10 years. It was a 10. It was 10 years, 25% of publishing to Air Miss Astronome. Oh, wow. Wow. So, 09 to 2019. 09 to 2019. So, technically, Victory Lab. Hello. Okay. A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit? A bullshit. And why did you want me to sue the estate and act like I brought you out of the contracts 53 days after this man's demise? Can you please tell the people this? You lied and said you had no contract. Now you got a contract. 53 days after this man died, you wanted WAC 100 to go out to the state. Nope. A bullshit. Listen. And it's that you see, Big U text me May 23rd, 2019. Nip passed away March 31st, mm. 2019. So Black Sam's interview. I'm saying that 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 sounds funny. I don't even know why he would say that. Like you know, what I'm saying that made himself like you know, <clears throat> just the same year he was about done with his uh, contract, he passes away. Sound funny. Um, the shit was emotional, and uh, he held it together. I've never met or uh, talked to Black Sam, um, but. Seems like a pretty stand-up guy. No, uh, yeah, I wouldn't take nothing from me. Very, uh, you know, I'm gonna be real. What I do know, because Big U used to always tell me he didn't like Black Sam, couldn't stand Black Sam, right? But he would go down there with him and try to play chess with him to get close to him, get up under him, to try to curb his thoughts, to you know, for Nip, because Black Sam was totally against a lot of the shit. You know, he was telling his brother like, "Yo, I don't trust this. Ain't that? This ain't this. This ain't that." I remember him trying to tell me, yo, man, I never seen Black Sam with a with a with a female before. I think he's gay. So I asked somebody else from 6-0, one of the reputables I know. He said, Whack, Black Sam got a family woman, all that. He just don't expose him 
to, you know, social media and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I stopped hearing that. But this dude, Big U, right now, I keep telling everybody, dumb as a box of rocks. Um, if you listen to him long enough, he's going to contradict himself and tell on himself. At one time, he had the popularity vote. Now people are starting to see, like, hold on. Right? You, you see him try to go say, what do you mean? This is me and DJ Khaled before Nipsey died. He posted the picture. Nigga, that's 2020, dummy. He forgot. We looking at the date. Like, it's like everything he does, and that's what I used to do for him. I used to troubleshoot and think for him and help clean up situations. Uh -huh. He ain't got nobody like that around him no more. So he posted up. Shout out Miles. Shout out Miles. Pulled up on Miles today. Damn, he just said, dude, going to be thinking. He kind of does that when it comes to certain things, I guess. You see Miles he posted on his uh, his Instagram feed. He or? pulled it down. I'm pretty. He pulled oh, it down. Shit, that's interesting. Okay. Bozo, wozo. Damn. He's a bozo, <laughs> and most shit gonna continue to come out. He telling everybody he ain't got no federal indictment, nigga. You got a federal indictment. You think one, one for monster, right? That's the one you mentioned. The boy from one nine no name told on him. I got the recordings on that. I just ain't let him go. Right, one for monster, you know what I'm talking about, right? And then the other one for all the other shit. So you you think that Black Sam wanted to crack open this debate and make everybody start having this conversation? I think Black Sam told his truth, and the people aren't stupid, and they shocked and surprised me that they were saying, "Oh, you know, how you're doing a puzzle. You're like, I don't really know where these pieces go." Uh -huh. So in Black Sam's interview, oh shit. Okay, these pieces fit here, 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 and there. Right. Black Sam just told his truth without any malice. Right. Right? He ain't politic with me. He ain't politic with Luce about what he gonna do, what he gonna say. I know him and Luce have casual conversations every now and then. I've never talked to the man, never met the man a day in my life. Right. Right? Um, and I'm pretty sure he's probably a little upset at me about a few things. But at the end of the day, you know, I speak my truth when it comes to business. As far as, you know, uh, a legend of music, that's my truth for that, about that. And all the other situations is, is really internal. That's shit that come from Big U. You know what I'm saying? Right. I you mean, know, him being a rat, Big U came on Pyro, set my motherfucking game room in my backyard, right? With another one of my original <coughs> baby gangsters. Right, you just walked off 20 years. He been home about seven or eight. The homie just walked off a dub, sat in front of me in my game room, in front of the homie, and called Nipsey a rat. We both looking at him crazy. What are you talking about? Some paperwork? Nah, what he did, I got the recording, you know, uh, when the nigga Domer, you know what I'm saying, did what he did. He told the police if anything happened to me or something happens to me, something, I come up dead, Domer did it. So he been paying this nigga 1500 2000 a month to keep from letting niggas know and telling niggas is that. So you know all this shit, bro, is what I'm trying to box up, put together to make my move. So when I sit back and I see this dude, little brother, little brother, little brother, I'm glad. Whatever happened between me and him happened because that dude is the most vicious, conniving snake I've seen. For him to say all this little brother shit about Nip and on par roof for me to know what I know and watch this dude sit, his brain doesn't work. Did you see the clip when he was live? Okay, but and they said justice for Nip? Wait. Yeah, that's, yeah. And what did he do? He started laughing. Your f***ing brain, right? Your brain, your nucleus, your control center is going to react in the most genuine way, naturally. He doesn't think. He's not a thinker. He never was. Justice for them. <laughs> Justice for them. You see this shit? He ain't realizing people screen recording this The shit. other guys are like laughing in the clip, too. It's kind of weird. They with him. No, it ain't. It's, it's nip. That's what that means. That's what that means. Yeah. If you're supposed to be a brother to Nip and all sentimental about what it is, and you say it says justice for Nip, you see that out of all everything popping up on the screen, it's supposed to speak on hood, neighborhood. Rest in peace, neighborhood. Nah, that's 100 facts right there. Wax speaking the truth. You ain't going to laugh. You trying? You paying homage. You being serious. It's a serious uh, uh, occasion. 
situation. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't going to be there laughing. And you and your homies, that's straight disrespect for sure. It, just for Nip. That should be your, if it's genuine. <clears throat> but how can you call him an idiot and then also accuse him of being this like conniving genius? That's not a conniving genius. A conniving, just conniving. A conniving genius is a that ain't never exposed. It's a moment that it don't never come out. He tells on himself, bro, you just heard this shit. He went on live. That's him on live. You know that's him on live. What? <laughs> bro. Oh, that clip. No, bro. Did you? Bro, I don't think you. I ain't killed Nipsey Look. and I have nothing to do with it because I wouldn't have benefited from Nipsey. I didn't have no business with Nipsey. Nipsey ain't signed to me one sign to me. He's right. next signed to a 10-year production contract which started in 2009, which was in 2019. It's kind of hard to resolve those two statements. Yeah. Hello. But uh, Hello. I ain't going to for that because you know, it is what it is. But I do have that. You know what I mean? So, wait, so you Listen, bro. He's a f dummy. He's his own worst enemy. I've always been that to him, the cleanup guy. There's some six O's out there. They know who they is, right? They know. Whack was the secret to that. Mm -hmm. Clean up, what to do, how to direct. Dude, don't. When dude got conference calls, eight people on the phone, everybody talking about him. People were directed to him, and he'd get a bunch of people on the phone that could do it. He can't do shit. Let's talk music. You give me an accolade he got. Can't give him Nipsey. Only thing he did with Nipsey was come to me and game and get him on a tour. And that play, we give him that. Everything after that, you give you give me something. Give me a pot. Give me uh give give me something. All right. He's a dummy, and you was dick riding him, thinking me and Luke was on some bullshit, thinking Six Hundred was on some bullshit. I just have to thinking try Rob to represent the other bullshit. side of the no, argument, it so was, it's not was, totally one sided. It Honestly, was, I can I'm barely say defend him. I don't know. I'm gonna say it because Brick was taking the stand he was taking, and then Brick tell Brick keep it real with you. Tell Brick to tell you what is really behind, and he'll tell you right. Tell him to tell you right. Tell him to keep it real with you. You 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 leaned that way, but now, now. Do you think you might owe Luce an apology? I'm not apologizing for anything until we get some more concrete you information You already did, this. though. I got the screenshot. Of what? You apologizing to Luce. Apologized? Let me review anything I may have texted Luce. I can't I don't know that. why you f with me. I'm from the other side of the trenches, my nigga. We don't speak unless we got the content. You didn't? I did not say I'm sorry. What did you say? <laughs> Whack always prepared, man. Always prepared. I'm pretty sure Adam said something about some apologetic something. Let me find it. <laughs> You're gonna read up my oh, <laughs> yeah. No, motherfucker, because you lying. But I didn't I didn't say anything what like apology. What did you say? I just said and obviously this is a private conversation no, that you're forcing me that. to reveal. I said, bruh, Black Sam just made y'all seem legit. I wish Big Boy asked him about what you said. That doesn't mean that I'm hundred percent validating what he said. I'm just saying Did Nah, man, don't backpedal. You basically was saying, like, you, they legit. And legit saying, like, if something legit is real. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here. This shit about... I'm stating something some, very obvious. This shit about someone being mad about the DJ Khaled video has to be Big U. Did that come from you? <laughs> well, I mean, that's what everybody's assuming, right? Did it come from you? Who else would it be about? I, we loose cannon was the team that went. We we told you that. All right. Did we not? Why is loose cannon screenshot? I'm never texting him anything ever again. That's my what you mean? That's my business partner. We got multi million dollar deals on the table for real. <laughs> Incredible rent control, um, smart home community, um, single uh, tiny home community coming. We got we just brought uh, 18 acres. We. Escrow for 32 acres in Nevada, 18 acres down in Mississippi, and we're looking for something in Texas. We've been 100 um, tiny homes in all these locations. We got a lot of business on the table. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, I'm glad that I was able to survive Big U and, and, and bring Loose Cannon into the fold, and we didn't came together and we doing our thing. All, all Big Boy had to say, he didn't even have to mention you guys by name because he probably wouldn't have wanted to do that, but he could have just said, so there's a lot of people with podcasts and talking on interviews and stuff who have made some claims that the nip thing maybe didn't happen 
via the narrative that has been put out there publicly. What if he, had, if he had said something like that? What are you talking about? If, if Big Boy had said that to Black Sam, then and we would have been able to really read into Black Sam's you. reaction. I, listen, I wish they would have asked Black Sam a little bit more specific. about the time because after Nipsey, for those of y'all, Nipsey dissed the shit out of Big U. It's a song out there. We right. dissed the fuck out of Big U. Yeah. Big U got mad, went down there, right? This one he got set on his pockets, you know, by Fats, rest in peace, right? Uh, went down there. This is when Black Sam allegedly came out the story <clears throat> firing in the air. Hmm. Let him ask Black Sam about that Because let me explain something to you Oh, Pa Rue, this nigga tells me First of all, he worked me out some bail money hmm. Who did? Big U? Big U Because I get the call, I send the bail money Right? Come to find out Rose showed me the shit That In the midst of all that coming When the police came Big U turns into grid worker Doing a roundup as if he didn't came down here to police the situation. Right? So he tells me, hey, whack, that nigga Black Sam, the police told me, leave him alone. That's one of his. He on parole and they let the nigga out before me. This what he feed me. Come to find out, Black Sam was off parole. Mm -hmm. Black Sam indeed had to bail out. Big U was the one that they let out. No strings attached. He turned into grid worker when all this shit hit the fan. Niggas got pulled over down the street, all this other shit. So, Big Boy didn't know the ads about that. Mm. But if Black Sam would have told that story on what that really say and what really happened at that precinct, everybody would really know. Do you really think that Eric Holder would still be keeping his mouth shut if somebody had sent him on that mission? That's not so, we're not I really used know. to gang members see, doing now, that. See, now that right? whole narrative is where, you know, it's going to be a discrepancy with me because I'm going to break it down. Call a spade a spade. If somebody would have sent Eric Holder on that mission, then his first time walking up would have been the start of the mission. Right. Right? Right? They're trying to debunk the fact that Nipsey insinuated he was a snitch. Right? So if somebody sent a nigga on a mission, he drive by, see Nip over there. When he walk up, everything we seen happened on the second walk up would have happened the first walk up. So he up. walked up with no shirt on? He walked then up. Then he walked back to the car, got a red shirt, and then walked back. Listen, the conversation happens. Boom, 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 boom. Remember cousin, cousin Carrie in the broad who got shot told gay the statements on what the conversation was. Mm. Right? If somebody would have sent Eric Holder on that mission, his initial walk up would have been the start of the mission. It wouldn't have been walk up, no shirt, to go get a shirt, conversation with Nip, exchange back and forth. You a snitch, nigga, I ain't no snitch, you the snitch, I, I'll be back. And then leave, go, hoodie up, shirt up, whatever you do, grip up, come back, come back, hit, hit Nip, neutralize Nip, hit the other two, the possible threats, come back around, stand over Nip, and kill him. Mm. That doesn't make sense that somebody sent him. And I've never said Big U sent him. Loose Cannon has never said Big U sent him. I don't believe Big U sent him. Right? Loose Cannon's stance was he got a call saying Nipsey was dead on FaceTime. When he called Nip, he wasn't dead. And then 30 minutes later, he got a call that Nip was dead. So his whole thing is not that big you sent him, that nigga you knew something, so why you didn't call your quote unquote little brother and warn him? Hey homie, where you at? I'm hearing something, get up out of there. That's his whole thing. That was Luce's whole thing, right? On why he was saying what he's saying. Nobody, I do not believe I don't believe Loose Cannon believes. I don't believe personally okay. that Big U sent anybody to kill Nip. Uh -huh. Right? It wasn't his advantage. He had Nip by the balls. Mm -hmm. He got this recording of him saying what he's saying to the police about Dahmer. Right? He squeezed him already, Black Sam. I'm going to let you know. Niggas say he got 5%. 
a victory at a victory lap. Right? So he's he working his move. Uh-huh. His next move, I'm pretty sure, was to get him to feature with his little group he got and all this shit. So having Nip killed, it wasn't to Big U's advantage. Mm. Hate no Nip because he brought DJ Khaled over there and it didn't go through him, right? It's to his advantage. As you seen, when he sent the team loose them over there, he called on the phone. Hold on, wait, Khaled. What's, hold on, your nephew. Let me talk to nephew. What's going on? Oh, no, not Khaled. I, let me get your number. Boom, boom, boom. Nigga, you supposed to send 100 niggas over there to stand on the block. Say, what's up, Khaled? You over here with Neighborhood Nip. We making sure you straight. Not go over there and make it look like you ain't safe just with him. Mm-hmm. And through that, through that whole play, it's the oldest trick in our book. He ends up with Khaled's number. Mm. Got Khaled believing. He's the one helped out, not knowing the team in front of you, Khaled, is what the f- he's saying. Wow. Yeah, the manipulation and the bullshit. Nigga, Sometimes baby. we need to have a full, we need to do like a two-hour podcast where we break down all the different things that gangsters do to normal people to basically finesse them or get them in the position that they want them in. Half the people. Uh, this dude, Adam, over here going to talk about some snitchery stuff. Anyway, <laughs> y'all already heard what it is, you know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? I thought this one was wild, you know what I'm saying? If all of that is true, it's crazy. He definitely knew about it, you know what I'm saying? If, if that really happened like that, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it just looked weird, man. Everything looked weird. But I guess it is true, like, he didn't really have nothing to benefit from it, but... Why not let him know? You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Till next time, guys. Y'all be good. Be safe. Peace.